In this video, we'll discuss about pulp polyp. Now, it is a very interesting phenomena that occurs in pulp. So, uh, first of all, what really happens is, uh, basically, it is a unique form of pulpitis, wherein the pulp, instead of perishing by suppuration, it proliferates excessively and exuberantly. Now, what do I actually mean by this? What happens is, it is very common that pulpitis happens and then we see that the pulp has undergone necrosis. That is now the pulp is not viable. It is finished. But in this, what happens is, pulpitis occurs, inflammation occurs, but the pulp doesn't finish away it actually starts proliferating so uh, it is basically a productive pulp pulp inflammation or a pulpitis case okay uh, now in other names just remember this name because mostly the question is asked through this it is the chronic hyperplastic pulpitis okay now the now this name makes sense after the definition so there is hyperplasia okay and this chronic right now uh, what happens is this intense uh, pulpal uh, intense proliferation of the pulpal connective tissue it is because of the uh, few characters which are present first of all there needs to be a large carious lesion okay then secondly what happens is we need a wide apical foramen this is basically the factors that uh, that support chronic hyperplastic pulpitis then uh, the patient who has it should be young and should have a good body resistance. Then pulpal tissue should be well vascularized. There should be a low grade sustained inflammation. Okay, now let's come to the clinical features. Mm -hmm. Now remember this, it usually occurs in children and in young adults. Okay, uh, the most common site is the deciduous or the first permanent molar. Now what happens is, this basically grows like a soft pink lobulated mass which grows through the cavity. Okay. Uh, now, uh, what happens is, if this is uh, if this is traumatized, then you will see that it will have a dark red color. It will be fleshy, and there will be fibrinous exudate. Now, uh, one more thing I want you to remember is, it is insensitive to manipulation because it has few nerves then if it is provocated then it is going to bleed all right then there is one more thing that you can remember is it is also seen to protrude uh, now uh, what happens is if there is a involved tooth then it is going to be uh, mostly it is painless but it can be uh, painful also it can uh, respond to the thermal stimuli okay then uh, what we what happens is uh, we mentioned it before as well it is a connective tissue growth so it is basically made of granulation tissue but sometimes what we see is there is some epithelization that occurs now coming out of the histopathology in histopathology what you will see is there will be granulation tissue so what is usually present in the granulation tissue there are mature fibroblasts and there are young blood capillaries Then uh, what you will see is there will be a connective tissue growth, there will be edema, hyperemia, focal areas of necrosis. We will even see epithelial cells. Uh, we can also see some desquamated cells. Now where are these desquamated cells actually coming from? They can come from the buccal 
और दो जेंजाइवल म्यूकोजा और दे कैन कम फ्रॉम द सिलाइवरी क्लैंड डाक्ट्स नाउ हाउ थ्रू सिलाइवा ओके देन वी वेल ऑल्सो ऑब्वियसली हैव इन्फ्लेमेटरी सेल इन्फिल्ट्रेशन येस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट करेक्टरिस्टिक देर इज दी यू कैन एक्चुअली सी द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द रिपेरेटिव डेंटीन ऑल्सो इन सर्टन केसेज वॉट यू विल सी इज देर विल बी रेटे पैक फॉर्मेशन ओके सो इन ट्रीटमेंट वट वी डू इज वी विल डू दी आर सी टी एंड वी विल डू दी एक्सट्रैक्शन ऑफ द इन्वॉल्व दुथ सो दिस कवर्स द पल्पल सॉरी क्रोनिक प्लास्टिक पल्पाइटिस आई जस्ट सम अप इट इज बेसिकली यूनिक फॉर्म ऑफ पल्पाइटिस वेयर द पल्प डज नॉट वैनिश अवे और डज नॉट पेरिश बिकॉज ड्यू टू सबोरेशन सबोरेशन इज इन्फ्लोमेशन इट एक्चुअली प्रो लाइफ रेट्स एक्सेसिवली एंड एक्सिबरेंटली इट इज बेसिकली अ प्रोडक्टिव पल्पाइटिस द अदर नेम इज क्रोनिक हाइपर प्लास्टिक पल्पाइटिस रिमेबर दिस नेम इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट देन इन एटियोलॉजी यू नीड टू हैव अ लार्ज केरियस लीजन देन यू नीड टू हैव अ वाइट एपिकल फॉरम एंड पेशेंट शुड हैव बी शुड हैव good body resistance then uh, the pulpit tissue should be well vascularized also low grade inflammation sustained inflammation then it will be chronic right so children and young adults testicles and first permanent molar soft pink lobulated mass it is when it is traumatized it is going to be dark red fleshy and fibrinous exudate insensitive to manipulation because it is few nerves bleeds when provocated and it can respond to the thermal stimulus then there will be a uh, granulation tissue plus epithelialization which we will discuss in histo pathology then there is mature fibroblast in young blood capillaries then there is connective tissue growth edema hyperemia and focal areas of necrosis now these discomitted cells are going to come from the buccal and the gingival mucosa or the salivary gland ducts through saliva then inflammatory cell infiltrate reparative dentin retipex formation rct and extraction of the involved tooth so this completes the pulp polyp i hope you understood thanks for watching